Several articles have appeared on social media warning United Kingdom asthma sufferers to stay inside because of a phenomenon called thunder fever. And even at one of our weather expos, someone said they suffered from this too. But we wanted to find out if this is a real thing. News 19's Daniel Bonds verifies. The British headlines from last month were scary. It made many question if thunder fever was real. We contacted Dr. Ty Coleman with Allergy Partners of the Midlands to find out more. This is a phenomenon of asthma attacks that occur in sometimes large outbreaks in uh, on the heels of a significant thunderstorm. Thunder fever or thunderstorm related asthma is a real thing according to Coleman, but this won't impact everyone. It's only in people who are sensitive to pollen or mold spores. And so during the thunderstorm, the conditions are such that the the airflow creates uh, damage to the particles, and when those particles are then airborne in large quantities, having been sort of broken apart, if you will, they can be brought into the lungs much deeper than in normal situation and in large quantities. So pollen or mold allergic patients can start to wheeze and have severe asthma worsening because of that huge load of allergen going down into their lungs. Coleman says he has seen one patient that he believed met the criteria for a thunderstorm related asthma attack, but the odds of it impacting most of us is small. I would say it's pretty low. I think that we're going to have, uh, you know, in the summertime, our, our big thunder clouds that come up and create some of those conditions, those might be the times to just be a little bit more aware of it. Even though it may not be common, we can verify that thunderstorm related asthma attacks are a real thing. In Columbia, Daniel Bonds, News 19, WLTX. While in the most extreme documented cases, thunderstorm related asthma attack uh, cases, I should say, 10 people died and more than 8,500 people were hurt in Australia in 2016 during one thunderstorm. Now, if you have a story you want us to verify, let us know on social media or send us an email to verify at WLTX.com.